Hi guys, welcome back to the Do It Yourself YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you how to fix and fill a large hole in a bit of plasterboard or if you're in America, drywall. You don't need many tools for this one, it's a fairly easy one so let's crack on. But before we do that, just hit that subscribe button for me, there's loads of content like this coming up, all kinds of DIY tips and tricks and things that are probably going to help you out somewhere along the line so hit that subscribe button for me. Let's make a start. Right, so this one's our hole in question that we're going to fix today. Uh, this will work on walls as well, not just ceilings. In my case, this is an old spotlight hole that I need to fill, but this will work on any plasterboard wall, um, providing you've not got a stud right behind the hole or anything like that, and also providing that um, it's not a dot and dab wall. If it's a dot and dab wall, just slap some filler in it. I mean, you don't need to do this technique. If you're watching this, it's probably because you've got a hollow wall behind it and you need to find a way to get the filler to hold in the hole. It's a little bit hard to film this today because I ain't got a cameraman. Um, but first things first, grab yourself a little bit of wood, something that you can fit up inside the hole, okay? So you want to be able to push that inside your hole and lay it flat like so. So this piece of wood is now on the other side of your plasterboard. So now you'll put two screws in here to hold this piece of wood. So if you were doing this on a wall, once you've got this piece of wood behind your plasterboard, you put a couple of screws in to hold that there. So then what you've got is a piece of backing to actually put something in that hole and screw it to. But basically you want to neaten this hole up here. So as you can see, in my case, this hole's really jaggedy and a lot of the time you're going to find that's not a perfectly round hole that you've got there. Um, whoever put this old spotlight in done a really bad job of it and just chunked the ceiling out. So, in a, like I was saying, in a lot of cases your hole's not going to be perfectly round. So, grab yourself a hole saw, just a little bit bigger than the hole you've got, okay? So that that will actually neaten this up for me. That way I can cut the perfect size bit with a new bit of plasterboard to actually put in that hole. Before you go cutting, make sure there's no electrical cables or plumbing or anything like that on the other side of the wall. And we're just going to fix this piece of wood in position. Just like that. So now we've got a solid base to work to. Next thing you want to do, grab your hole saw and centre it up so that we're going to cover that area that we need to repair. Right, so as you can see, we now have a perfectly round hole. And now we can cut ourselves a bit of plasterboard that's going to fit that hole perfectly. Okay, so grab the hole saw you used before, exactly the same size, and grab yourself a bit of old plasterboard. And now we've got that perfect bit to fit our hole. Next up, we're going to get this piece of plasterboard to fit this hole here. It's really easy, basically. Get a couple of drywall screws. Just start the screws off in the piece of plasterboard to make it easier for yourself. Grab your bit of plasterboard. Put it inside the hole. So that's the worst of the job done. Now what we're going to do is grab some filler and finish that off. So grab yourself some filler and a filler knife. Any fillers will do, any of the lightweight stuff or poly filler like this. It might take a couple of goes if it sags but the worst of this is done now. Basically it's like filling any other hole now, we just need to get that flat and sand it down. Stick a bit of filler in the holes. Make sure that's filled a little bit high and then come along with your sander and just sand the top off it. Um, and then you can paint over it and make the perfect job of it. Grab yourself a sander or a bit of sandpaper on a block and you need to flatten this down. And then you'll be able to see if there's any more holes or low spots that are going to need filling. So it's been a couple of days. Just looked back at the footage and realised I forgot to record an outro. As luck would have it though, that actually means the job's done. So I can show you the painted, finished product. Right, you can see that. It's really difficult to actually 
get the focus correct though because there's new spotlights installed and they are messing the focus up a bit. So as always, thanks for watching the Do It Yourself YouTube channel. I hope that's helped a few of you out. Now go and smash the like and subscribe button and check out some of my other videos for me. They'll probably be left, right or somewhere on YouTube. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.